two two. Yeah. How? Why did Everton just keep bottling it? They went one 0 up, then two one up. They, they can't keep a lead. I know. I think this what, what that wrong? game especially that could have been. Well, it shouldn't have been a must win, but that could have been a win that could really help them. But I think seeing that they just can't keep a lead, they can't stay leading. They just have to concede. That is probably a big hint to what's going to happen the rest of this season and probably a big hint towards them probably getting relegated. So I think the way Everton played that game, not keeping up their lead, I think they'll go down. Yeah, I've said that last time. Yeah, I think they'll go down. Yeah. Theo, do you, do you think home form will keep them up? Well, the thing is, and Everton, they, they have done well at home, but still... Yeah, like you're saying, the rate they're playing, it's not really looking good. They haven't been doing that well. I think Forest, I think my dad was saying as well, Forest are a really difficult team to beat at home. And like they beat Liverpool this season at home as well. And but it's just Johnson saved them that game. And they Forest didn't even look that good. And but the thing is, like Luca was saying now as well, Everton going from 1-0, then 2-1 up, then they just can't keep a lead. And that's looking like, if they're just doing that and like looking like they're going to win the game, then they don't, then that's a sign of them doing bad. And I think they'll go down because they're, they're not doing well. And especially you know, home games and away, they haven't eat, really been doing well in both. And I don't really think home games can save them now. Yeah. I mean, um, it's sort of a, thing or two will home form keep them up or will their lack of keeping a lead go uh, take them down yeah i was looking at the home form lost to southampton win against leeds win against arsenal obviously and Just... then it's not and then it's basically all been losses yeah um, <laughs> so it, they've not had great home form but it's definitely been better than their away form I think from looking here, they've not won any away. In fact, they've only got that point at Forest since wow. since pre-season when they drew to, drew to Celtic. No, they didn't. They that's beat terrible. Western Sydney Warriors. <laughs> oh my God, that's, that's amazing! I know. <laughs> um. Anyway, they they have Brentford next. Will they beat Brentford at home? No. No, I don't think they have a chance that game. Brentford, Brentford are on this amazing run. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you look at some of their next games. I mean, they're all they're all hard in the Premier League. Yeah. But almost all of them are top half. Brentford, Chelsea, Tottenham, uh, Man U, Fulham, Palace is okay. Then Newcastle, yeah. Leicester's okay. Brighton, Man City, and then it could be. It could be the last two games, the sort of relegation decider. Wolves, Everton, and Everton, Bournemouth. Oh. So, oh, they could really decide last this two season. games. Because oh, that I'd love for it to be down to them. That would be amazing. That I'd, would be good. I'd maybe see it between Wolves and Everton, who'd go down. Yeah. yeah. Because I'd say Southampton and Bournemouth are. Yes, yeah, same. Um, Pretty much definitely. Go. Wolves, Everton, and Leeds. I think they'll be the three. Trying to escape uh, 18th place. Yeah. Right then. Thanks for watching. You've been watching the English Football Podcast. Goodbye. Thank you.